Hello, I am the Jello Boy, and now, instead of our Green White Tokens deck we were playing before, we're going to play a, a Drake deck, uh, the Almond Cat Drake, that has power equal to the number of instants and sorceries in your graveyard, and we have a lot of cycling going on, and spells, and yeah, we're going to try to win in the air. So, let's see what he's rocking. Uh, we're going to keep this hand because of the opt in our island to let's just kind of sort through stuff and chart of course is always good to ditch stuff we don't need uh, if it's super big then we can always ditch fire cannon a2 and it feeds our drake so we're gonna keep move on second every time today i believe playing down misa san love the name all right down what are you doing what are you doing down He's taking his time. He's like, I don't know which land to play. Or if he doesn't have any lands at all, that is amazing that he kept that. Especially since he's going first. But he, uh, he has to have something. Come on. He's looking. Oh! Playing against the fourth white deck in a row. Alright. Oh, but this time... It's dinos. Oh my god, that is... Scary. We're gonna opt. And we're gonna keep it. And that'll be us. What is he gonna do this turn with his dinos? I haven't seen this card. Nobody's played this. Seems kinda okay. It doesn't do much. And in the beginning, but I guess it's okay. Oh my god, what? What? Who runs... Oh, it's the Ascend deck. That's that's why. That's why. That's why. It's the Ascend deck. We're going to end our turn. We're going to put a stop on his end of turn just in case. He, uh... He doesn't play a creature for us to counter. I hope he plays a creature for us to counter. Because that always feels good. Supreme Will... We'll let it slide. Well, no, since he's doing that, we'll opt. And we'll keep it. We'll let him We'll let him have his supreme will. <laughs> What's he looking at? I haven't played this Ascend X, so I have no idea what is in it. I know it has the Sky Marcher Aspirant, because that's a really good card. I don't know any of the big Ascend stuff, though. So, it's a mystery to me. I'll go to my turn. Okay. Uh, we'll play Charter Course. Okay. Um, we can ditch an island. And then we'll cycle. Yeah, because I don't think we want to play this. No, we'll keep it so we can cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Probably should have put the Flame Blade Adept down. But at least it makes us look like we might have a counter spell. What is he going to do this turn? Nothing. All right, well, do we play the Flame Blade Adept? I think we do. And I think that's all we do. Is he going to counter it? He is not, so we're going we're gonna to end our turn. What is he up to now? Like I said, the Ascend deck is a mystery to me. I think it's kind of controlly with the stuff like Supreme Will and I don't know, man. Draw two cards for three mana. Uh, I drew two cards for two mana, man. Make sure I had to discard one, but it just feeds my deck. What's he got? Attackers, block. My turn? Alright. 
we're going to straight up play a hieroglyphic illumination. Draw two cards version. Help us look for a Drake. We do get a rekindling Phoenix, which is awesome. That works too for next turn if we can get a mountain. Now we'll cycle and hopefully draw off the cycle and get a flame blade adept a little, little bigger. He cannot be blocked by this dinosaur because of menace, which is super good. And we do not get it. Oh man. We can try to fish out a mountain if we don't manage to f draw one with this opt. Uh, that seems like the best course of action. I mean, this game is super slow. Normally I have a faster start, but we don't have any of the creatures, so we're kind of just waiting on something to happen. Oh! Ow. Um. Hey there. Glyphs. Speaker. Oh, there it is. There's the mountain. We can't play it, though, because we already played. Oh! I'm an idiot. Yeah, I think we just sweltering suns. We can't! Oh! Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. Oh, this is how we lost last game. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at Magic the Gathering. Oh. Oh, my God. Why did I play land? Ah. Oh, I should have waited. I should have waited. No. I should have waited. Oh. I should have waited. Uh, now he's going to get a free 5 damage. Wow. Oh, at least it's dead now. <laughs> oh. I should have attacked. Oh my god, I'm so bad. I could have got a free damage in. Oh, this is this is a uh, this is what you get when you watch me play magic. You see me fail several times. We'll get better though. We'll get better together. The more we play this, we will we will get it. No, I wanted to play the mountain, but we're just going to cycle this. We're going to play our Phoenix. Because we're going to keep mana open to a Braid or Essence Scatter. We're going to turn. Phoenix is so good. They have to exile it, which he could definitely have since he's playing white. But pretty much anything that doesn't have exile potential, Phoenix just destroys because he blocks almost everything in this format. Almost is the keyword because a lot of the dinosaurs are a little big. He gets over a lot of stuff with flying. Like, a lot of flying stuff, like Kite Sail Freebooter, and even the Ascend stuff, yeah, he's got it. Um, which kind of sucks, but we can just play our own Glyph Keeper next turn. We only have one Phoenix anyway, so it's not the end of the world. All right, we take five. This is not looking good for us. When we get our own Glyph Keeper out as a blocker, which is cool. <laughs> he's he probably has Essence Scatter though if he's waiting. He's waiting. He he thinks he's got something. He's trying to counter it. Or is he just thinking? 
Oh, he's got it. I'm gonna essence scatter his essence scatter. Um, yeah. <sighs> we need exactly Drake next turn. I think is the literally the only thing that can block this. So, yeah. You can play it again. And we can try that. So I guess that works. But this is not looking good for us. He's got opt. It's gonna resolve. Are we gonna lose two in a row? Oh no. My poor rank. That rank two. I can't lose it. Even though I already lost it. Oh, white, white. White. Why didn't he just use an island? Okay. He's gonna draw. That resolves. Play a creature, I dare you. Come on. Oh. Please use up the mana. Please, please, please use up the mana. Please. Oh no. This is not looking good for us guys. I don't I don't know. Drake would be an awesome draw. But I think we have to do Glyph Keeper. Because we don't want the Drake to die. Oh no. Uh well we can play this. He's, if he counters it, we gotta concede. We don't have anything else. He's got it. He has to, yeah. He's gotta have it. <gasps> no, he doesn't. Oh! Alright. This is better. I mean, uh, what, what's he Oh no. Is he gonna cast out? Is that what he was waiting for? Is that what he was waiting for? Expel from... Uh, uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, counters. Why did he do that? Um, uh, oh. Okay. I was about to concede him. Glad I saw that. Oh, man. This is better than before. I guess. Now he's doing that. I guess that works, too. Uh. Well... We lost the second game in a row, but that's, that's, when life gives you lemons. Hello, it's a jello boy once again. Oh, uh, we just lost with the Cycle Drake deck. And, because we didn't draw any drakes. And now we're going to try again. Hopefully avoiding our third loss in a row. And getting the W. To put it back on track. Alright. Cryptic Serpent in the beginning hand. is actually pretty good. Because we can opt to get something in there. We can, we can uh, cycle Hieroglyphic Illumination. What is he going to do? Let me guess. He's playing white. Because everybody's playing white. Sit Mulligan. That's good. It's a great sign. Is he going to mulligan again? Woland. Is he going to mull? Oh, he's going to keep. Okay. We're going to keep Magma Spray. Just in case he's an aggressive deck. We don't know. So we're going to keep it just to be safe. He's playing blue. He's probably not aggressive. We're going to... Oh, that was my ukulele. Okay, well. We are going to cycle. Right now. Which seems crazy but we want to get this Serpent, like, now. Hopefully he plays something that we can Magma Spray, and then we have three, and this costs four. 
Oh, oh, he's merfolk. Yes. 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 <laughs> now that is Magic the Gathering, my friends. And. And be the flame of the adept. There's f four in there. It costs three. Oh, man. The turn four cryptic serpent gets him every time. And if eventually he drops a bunch of merfolk, we just fire a cannon and they'll die. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Draw your card. Play more merfolk. Yeah. Did we play this? I think we play this. Yeah. We're gonna end the turn. And the next turn we fire a cannon aid, because I assume he's gonna play more merfolk. I would go wide if I were him, because of we have this big boy. Well, no, I guess he could try to stack up on this Silvergill Adept. Would be too hard. Two counters and a Merfolk deck is like, uh, like nothing. Yeah. So he's... He's throwing him on there. He just wants to trade? <gasps> Ooh, no. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Sweltering Suns is a good draw. Not gonna get it, though. We're gonna end turn. We're gonna, we're gonna sit on it. We're going to sit on it. Hopefully he plays a bunch of more merfolk that don't do counter stuff. Then we can just annihilate Fiery Cannonade. Or we could draw Swaltering Suns. That would be great. Because that card is amazing. Oh. Well. I think we lost. I'm just going to say it because this thing is fat. With a PH. It's a big, big boy merfolk. It resolves. Combat. Attackers. He's swinging with this boy. Okay. We'll block. We'll take the trade. My turn. Well. Oh, I didn't know I was experiencing issues, but thank you, wizards, for fixing them. This is not looking good. He's going to play Tristana's Wayfinder. I hope he draws land. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait. No, I just do this now. That was the best way we were going to get out of that. Unless he plays another. He's going to get him for three, which is fine. There's nothing. We're going to have to... Oh, man. This is so bad right now. This game is not interesting. I don't know what we could draw. Well, good game, guys. Uh, this one was not entertaining. This was not entertaining at all. Well, that's going to be the last one for today. We're going to finish the quest here. So, uh, I'll open a pack. Just to, uh, oh, we, we can packs. I'll open all these packs. Just to add more content, because uh, this is not very exciting. We got a gold wild card. We're definitely gonna use that for another sweltering suns unless we get one. All right, all right, all right. Abandoned sarcophagus. That's not great. We could put it in the cycling deck just to try it out. And Amon Cat, we get another gold card. All right. We we got enough to get a pack, so we're gonna take. Roll the dice here. We're gonna take. Uh, we're gonna take Exelon. Yeah, we'll do Exelon. What do we get? Okay, okay, okay. Another fiery cannonade and this thing. 
All right, well, that's going to be the episode. Sorry the games went that interesting, but at least we had some packs there at the end.